Well, it's uh, the 18th of September, 2017. John Rule's probably not going to make it this afternoon. He was at the doctor's office. So let's see Monarch Butterfly fresh out of its chrysalis in my yard. Got on a basket flower to nectar a little bit before it flew off to wherever it's headed. Now this is a uh, tall grass area on Pinnacle Prairie and then we've got uh, some Bidens. Uh, oh, Aristoka I think might be the right subname. And uh, here's uh, one of the uh, beautiful uh, tiny flowers on uh, Indian grass. And here you see Rattlesnake Master with big blue stem and little blue stem, I believe, in that shot. And uh, you can tell, okay. Um, here's a Sensitive Briar. We know it as Mimosa Natale. That's the only good mimosa in the U.S., thank you. Okay, here is a Liatris with a uh, spider, Mola spider is one of the names. Anyway, it's, it's, now notice it's white, the spider itself. And it has captured a Vanessa family uh, butterfly, probably a painted lady. And you can see different shots, different angles. He's a captive. He's, he's going to be eaten. No point in knocking him off because it's going to happen. That guy has got him. It's how they make their living. They won't hurt you, but they will hurt your flowers a little bit. Sometimes, or, or, I mean, they'll hurt your butterflies. Uh, you know, if you happen to see one under a butterfly, you might chase him away. Okay, we've got some more uh, big blue stem and Leatris, and there you can see big blue stem on the left, little blue stem on the right. And uh, there's a close-up of little blue stem with a, a big red-looking piece of big blue stem. And uh, something to uh, enjoy. If you, you can still enjoy these if you're out there on Pinnacle Prairie. These pictures are several days old but as we speak. But uh, all these, the tall grass is going to be there a while longer. and and. You know, the liatris is starting to dry up, but we did have rain, and maybe maybe that was enough rain to help some of these stay together. And you can see uh, goldenrod and tiny tall grass flowers on various species. And, and we'll see uh, some other flowers, but those are flower flowers. I mean, <laughs> they're grass flowers. Okay, this is false foxglove, the pink part, and uh, that's also known as Agalenus tineofolium, and that's uh, the uh, Bidens that's very big out there right now. And we'll have, uh, well, this, this one Maybe this is another one of my uh, sensitive briar pictures that I captured and they got out of order because I cropped some of them and that happens. But this uh, Bidens and Asters together here, you'll see what beautiful things they are. And they're the dominant flowers out there on Pinnacle Prairie right now. Till next time, do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and next segment, we'll talk about pesto fast a little. See you. Well, you can tell it's still yellow flower season on Pinnacle Prairie. And here's also a bowl of uh, spider, but this one has, is, a, is a, on a yellow flower, and the females are known to be able to turn themselves yellow as opposed to white actually do this when they get on there. And that makes them able to uh, 
hide quite well on yellow flowers as well as white flowers. So uh, let's see if we got uh, what else have we got that's coming up here maybe. Yeah, there, there's a pretty good shot of him. I, I didn't crop all these, but you can see uh, here, here's maybe the best one we've got. And he, this is not on uh, the Bidens. This, this is on uh, a brown-eyed Susan, I do believe. And this is a flower I identified you know, two years ago, maybe last year, but I can't remember it this year, and I've not found it in the book. I know I've got it on some other places, but anyway, it's a tiny water-loving thing. This is sneeze weed. This is Helenium autumnal, and uh, it's, uh, that blooms three times a year. But each time it's a slightly separate species, but they all look alike. Okay, here's a bale monarch on a basket flower, a different uh, time. Uh, okay, take a look at a few of those. Those things, they're just coming out of, <laughs> coming out of the woodwork. No, they're coming out of the... Uh, Christmas is at my house. I've got uh, about, uh, I don't know, six still likely to show up that haven't. Uh, caterpillars are growing fast. And uh, here you see uh, the uh, repeat of some of the same flowers, just different times, different hours. And this uh, is the gray hair streak butterfly. The gray hair streak is known as Strymon melenis. Okay, it's just, it's enough to know it's a gray hair streak. One of the ways you can tell, see how the back of the wings are dark? And most of the time you see them with them closed, but they do uh, land on the pl plants sometimes when they're uh, going to open up their backs and show you how dark they are. Okay, these are all shots from the Pesto Fest. There's a couple holding a program. And here's friend Dan Kelly. And talking to him out there at Funder Fest, I found out he's from Shreveport, where I was from. And here's Lauren Hawkins showing off the uh, uh, butterfly wings that she brought for some of the kids to play with. And they did. And here, are, here was a UA professor. And then you saw a couple of University of Arkansas athletes. And then one of the longtime friends of my daughter was there. And hmm, this is some of the food they had out. And let's see what else we got. This is sedum. This is a species growing around our house. Here we go with some, some uh, monarch caterpillars. Now, see the water on there? It rained last night on the 17th or 18th, or today a little bit maybe. Okay, there's three monarch caterpillars competing. Now you can see four in this shot. I held something up for a background trying to get it. You can see it there. Four eating those leaves up. Now what happened? Uh, before I left home, I had moved them all to another plant that had more leaves. And that's what you gotta do. You run out of milkweed, they won't be laying in your yard anymore then. Till next time, do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the butterflies growing. See ya.